Your typical single won't stray too far from the three minute mark, but not all artists adhere to the rules. Napalm Death's You Suffer may hold the mantle for the shortest commercially released single at 1.316 seconds in all, but unsurprisingly it failed to hit number one. Here are the seven songs that not only managed to clock in in under two minutes each, but also hit number one on the singles charts of their time. Initially failing to make the cut for the Fab Four's debut LP, From Me To You was recorded at George Martin's request. It went on to become the Beatles' first official number one in the UK singles charts. On top of that, follow-ups She Loves You and I Want To Hold Your Hand would also hit number one the same year. There are plenty of short tracks in pop canon, but at 1 minute 55 seconds, the letter is one of the more iconic. Originally penned by country musician Wayne Carson, its husky delivery comes courtesy of a 16-year-old Alex Chilton. The frontman would later go on to become the godfather of alternative rock in ill-fated 70s outfit Big Star. Back in the late 50s, even Elvis didn't mind cranking out some short tunes when it suited him. Featuring in the King's second outing Loving You, Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear draws inspiration from blues staple Bol Weevil. It was the third of four hits Presley would secure that year. After bluffing his way into festival records in 1957, Johnny O'Keefe went on to be one of Australia's most successful acts. Almost 60 years down the line, Own True Self remains the shortest song to hit number one in Australia. As far as most Aussies are concerned, Triple J's Hottest 100 is the only ranking that really counts. Sticking to their credo of short, fast and loud, Spiderbait took out the number one slot in 1996 with Buy Me A Pony. The group's success also marked the first year that an Australian act was voted in first place. Over the pond in England, Adam Faith was tearing up the charts. Taking the record for second shortest number one single of all time is the insistent crooning of Faith's 1959 hit, What Do You Want? In hindsight, it may have been for the best. While you may be more familiar with this number from Dirty Dancing or Carlton Mid commercials, Stay was climbing the US charts at the close of the 50s. The hit was penned by a 15-year-old Maurice Williams after his date abandoned him. It landed the number one slot on November 21, 1960, only to be dislodged by Elvis Presley's Are You Lonesome Tonight a week later. While erroneously catalogued at 1 minute 50 seconds, its actual runtime of 1.37 secures its place as the shortest number one single of all time. Did we miss any short number one hits? Let us know.